What is golf swing plane? What does that mean? And more importantly, are you swinging the club on plane? And how do you practice it? Well, today we're talking about golf swing plane, what it means, and how you can start to swing the club on plane and start playing better golf. I'm PGA teaching professional Todd Kolb, Director of Instruction for US Golf TV and the Sanford Power Golf Academy. And today we're taking a look at golf swing, golf swing plane, swinging the club on plane. And this is a topic that can be really confusing to a lot of golfers, but today we're gonna, we're gonna eliminate that confusion and I'm gonna tell you what you should be doing when you wanna swing the club on plane. Now if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Be sure to join us here at US Golf TV. If you love golf, then this is the place for you because we're talking about golf every single day and we're helping golfers from all over the world play better and you know what, you're teaching us some things. So be sure to leave some comments, be sure to ring the bell so you know when we got a new video coming out and I can promise you that you're gonna start playing better golf if you do just that. So when we start talking about golf swing playing, there's a lot of different things that we could be referencing. Typically when people talk about swing playing, they're talking about like the angle that something moves. Now, plane of the golf swing was really became really popular there's this epic picture of Ben Hogan standing up over the golf ball all right and there's this plane of glass all right there's this plane of glass that kind of went basically just outside the golf ball right around that area up through the shoulders and that was the first time that a lot of golfers started talking about swing plane so when we say swing plane we're talking about something rotating on a specific angle now swing plane we could be referencing the club shaft, all right? That's typically what people look at. We could be talking about the club head, all right? There's a, there's a plane that the club head swings on that could be different than the shaft. We could be talking about the shoulders. That's another thing. People talk about shoulders and the plane of the shoulders. Hips, okay? There's a variety of different things that we could be talking about when we say swing plane. So it's not just the golf club. It could be also your body. Your body rotates on a certain angle. Now, in terms of this, there's typically two things that we look at. There's either what we call steep plane or flat plane. So let me go ahead and demonstrate this. Now, one of the ways that I always, when I always practice and I'm working on swing plane with any of my students, I like to use the live view because the live view is the one perfect situation where I can put a couple lines on the screen. So what you'll see here is I got a red line and I put that along the shaft angle, all right? And then I've got a blue line right up over my shoulders. We're going to talk more about that in detail. And at the end, I'm going to give you some, a couple simple tips, drills that you can do to work on the swing plane, on your backswing, forward swing, and specifically with your driver. But so as we're talking about here, I got the red line right there. You'll see it from down the line. And I got the blue line. Now, there's two typical terms that people talk about. They'll say you're either too steep or too shallow. So let's, let's define that. So let's work, with the, let's work with the shaft, all right? We've already talked about it, it could be shaft, we could be talking about club head, shoulders. Okay, there's a, you can see this can get really complicated quick, but we're gonna simplify this down and let you know what you should be looking for. So when people say that they're super shallow, what they mean is that the, that the shaft of the angle, excuse me, the angle of the shaft is working on a very flat plane. Okay, so it's rotating very flat and around. If somebody says that they're too steep, then they mean that the shaft angle is working in a, in a downward motion this way. Okay, so you've got shallow, all right, so from down the line there you've got shallow, which means the shaft rotates flat, or you've got steep. All right, so those are the two terms that people typically look at. Now, there's also a lot of concepts in terms about being on plane or off plane. Now, what do we mean by on plane or off plane? Well, there are some instructors and there's some validity to it. I'm not gonna deny it. It's, it's that you should be, keep the club on plane, meaning that, that the sh angle of the shaft should work on one plane, okay, all the way up and all the way back. Okay, that would be what they call like a one plane, meaning, meaning that the shaft angle or the shoulders, we could talk about shoulders, okay, that the shoulders rotate, you can see on the blue line there, okay, this would be kind of a, this would be a little steeper angle, this would be more shallow, you can see the difference there in the blue line where the club's at, okay, this would be on plane, right? So people will say you're either on plane or you're off plane. Now, as of late, there's been a lot of talk about actually getting the club a little bit off plane will help you create more speed. And we've seen that in some of the younger golfers. You're, you're seeing some of them take the club and get really steep in the backswing 
and then shallow in the downswing. And there is a there is a train of thought out there, and you know they might be right that getting the club off plane or moving from one plane to the other can actually help you increase club head speed. So that's kind of some of the basic terms in, in terms of what we talk about plane. So first of all, let's review that. And we're going to talk about some different things that we can do to help us work on our swing plane. So the plane is the angle that something moves on. We could be talking about the club head, the shaft, the shoulders, the hips, there's all types of different things. We could be on plane, which means that we're rotating on that same angle back and through, or we could be off plane, meaning that we're rotating steep and then shallow. And those are the two terms that people use a lot when we start talking about swing plane. Now, what are some specific things that you could look for? I'm just going to share with you some best practices. These are things that I teach. I think they're pretty agreed upon. Let's go through it. So if I want to be on plane, so I got my setup here. Now, you'll notice already, I've talked about the live view here. I love this live view because I can look right down here at my device. The camera's set up right behind me. It's, it's real time. There's no delay. It's real time. So I've got this red line on the shaft, okay? And I want to feel, I think, this is my opinion as a golf instructor, that I want to see my hands work right along that line. I also want to see the club head see where the club head is at right there I want to see the club head work on that red line also so this would be what I would call an on plane to me an on plane takeaway right, so that'd be a really good checkpoint for you to work on when you're working on your golf swing now the next instructor might like something a little bit different but I think for most people that's a good checkpoint now I like the blue line to work on my shoulder plane Okay, so you can see right there, put it just right through the base of my neck. Now what I want to see there is I want to see my shoulders, see my left shoulder rotate right down there on that blue line. You can see that, see? That's where I want to see that work. I see a lot of my students do this. All right, now that, that angle does not look the same, right? They come up and out this way, all right? So that's where I like to work on my shoulder plane with that blue line. All right, that looks pretty good there. Now, I can also take this, put it across my shoulders like so. Another good way to rotate that, see? That's the beauty of having a couple reference points there. All right, so red line, blue line, one for the shaft angle and the club head, one also for the shoulders. Now, I talked a little bit about hips, okay? A little bit about hips. You know, your hips work on an angle too. All right, your hips work on an angle. So you got a lot of different things going on there. The best way to practice that, I think, is just take a club, Put it across your hips and just rotate a little bit. All right, so those are a couple of different ways that you can practice the takeaway to help you get started. Now, let me give you a couple other things to do. Let's say you're the type of golfer and you're like, man, Todd, this is super confusing. This is, you're getting really deep here. And this is really, and, and a matter of fact, if you feel that way, put some things in the comments. Let me know if you want us to do a video where maybe it's simpler because we could do that too. This is pretty in-depth. It's pretty in-depth. This is for the golfer who's really looking for detailed information, but we'll be happy to do that as well. But let me give you a drill. I call this a continuation drill. And so what you're going to do, and you might have seen this before in one of our other videos that we've done. So I got my setup there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make three swings, but they're going to be continuous motion. So it's one, two, three. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and grab a ball and I'm gonna hit a shot. So I just did my three swings, get set up, and I'm just gonna hit a shot. Now what you're gonna find, and this is what I found in my 25 plus years of teaching, it's going quick, 25 years already, it's hard to believe, that when the club is in continuous motion, it'll naturally get in plane. It'll find balance, all right? I like the word balance, it'll find balance. The club, in my opinion, wants to find balance meaning it wants to find the correct angle to swing on. So when you swing the club and you put it in continuous motion, which you'll see, you can see it right there at the live view, it'll just naturally swing on a nice plane. They take that feel, get a ball in there, boom, go ahead and swing it, and it's gonna be pretty close. So that'd be tip number one that I'd give you. If you don't like a lot of details and you're like, Todd, I don't like to sit here and work on my takeaway and all my shoulders, Put the club in continuous motion, three swings, notice they were relaxed, they were rhythmic, and then hit a golf ball, and what you're going to see is that you're going to probably start swinging the club a little bit more on plane. Now, what about backswing? I want to talk a little bit about backswing plane, and I want to give you a tip for forward swing, specifically with the driver, all right? So, backswing. A lot of golfers, 
in the backswing, okay, I got my setup here, got my live view, so we've already talked about these reference points, okay, in the backswing, what happens is, is that they don't turn and they pick the club straight up. So they get what we would call, in terms of playing, very steep with the shaft, very shallow with the shoulders, okay, so steep shaft, shallow shoulders, okay, bad combination, bad combination. What we want is we want to try to match those up a little bit. So the drill that you can do, take your setup, is when you swing the club back, you're going to take your trail foot, which for me is my right foot, and you're just going to step back a little bit. Okay, so I'm here, and I'm just going to step. Now what's going to happen is, let me go ahead and do it here. You'll be able to see this on the live view there. Okay, what's going to happen naturally is, okay, the club's going to work in a little bit better angle, the hips are going to rotate, and the shoulders are going to rotate better. This is a great way to work on your back swing plane. Okay, so I'll do a few of those. I like to do them in three setters. So let me go ahead. So we got a little, well, there's one. See that in the live view? Gosh, beautiful. Perfect plane right there. There's two. And I'm just swinging it. I'm not even thinking about it. I'll take a ball. Now, regular stance. I'm going to try to replicate that feel. Feel the hips opening up, shoulders turning. All right, not too bad. Call a little bit thin, but pretty good. So that would be a nice drill that you can do to work on your backswing. Now, how about the driver? If you got questions on your driver, be sure to put those in the comments because um, I love working on the driver. It's one of our favorite things to teach. So that's a little bit on continuous motion and then backswing. So the driver, let me go ahead and grab that. Now, with the driver, it's a little bit different because the driver, we actually want to hit up on the ball a little bit, right? and we're trying to put some speed into it, all right? And what I see a lot of golfers doing, especially amateur golfers, they'll make pretty good backswings, but in the downswing, they get the shaft very steep, okay? Very steep in the transition, and it goes down this way, and that is just disastrous for the driver. So here's a little tip that you can do to help you get that club swinging in the right direction. So you're gonna make your backswing, right? And as you start to swing forward, you're gonna take your trail foot, which is your right foot, and you're gonna go ahead and step forward. Now, as I do that, Okay, notice that I'm stepping forward, but also to the right. Okay, so I'm stepping here and to the right. Now when I do this, that naturally drops the club more from the inside. Flatter plane allows me to hit up on the golf ball and still draw it. Like I said, most amateur golfers get steep in the transition, okay, and swing the club down and left. So by taking a step forward and swinging the club up and to the right, you're doing just the opposite of that. So let me go ahead and do a little, re I like to do a little three setter. Here's a little one. Let's see the step, good, there's the two. Notice where the hands are going, up and to the right. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and square up, take my regular setup. I've got my reference point right here with my live view. All right, little low on the face, but I gotta be honest with you, that actually took and had a nice little draw to it. So when we're talking about swing plane, man, we can get in deep. Basically, here's what you gotta know. If you swing the club, it's on some form of an angle. Some would argue that it's better to get it off angle and then on angle. Some people would say it should be always on the angle. What's most important is you gotta figure out what works best for you. Having some basic reference points, a red line, a blue line on the screen to kinda help you feel where it should be, a couple drills that I gave you, these types of things can help you swing the club on plane, off plane, I don't care, but can help you start swinging the club better and more importantly, start hitting some quality shots.